YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Shani, and we back with another video, man. Today we're gonna be reacting to how YNW Melly got away with murder, bro. If y'all don't know, Melly been in jail for a long ass time, like five years, I think, five six years, and he still hasn't been fully convicted of these murders that he's allegedly accused of. But with that being said, we're gonna watch this video on how he got away with it. Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get to it, man. The YNW Melly case is a weird one. As some of you may know, five years ago today, he was locked up for two of his best friends. Now, the Damn. evidence against him is astonishing, but he's going to get away with it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he's going to I'll be seeing some it, of his shorter videos on TikTok, too, and I ain't going to lie. This is a good, this is a great guy. I ain't going to lie. This is a great guy. <laughs> then why is he still in jail? Yes, he is still in jail, by the way. Well, because YNW Melly had a problem. The police uh, also talk to know me, talk to me, talk to me. It, so they decided, why don't we just keep him for as long as we can? And it all started way back when, when YNW Melly was about 16. He didn't like some of his classmates to so at them. The police arrest him, but it's only for a year because... This nigga was shooting at people in school? So you telling me this nigga was a school shooter the whole time? And, 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 and nobody knew about it. I didn't know about it. Did y'all know Melly was a school shooter? Nah, what? He didn't like his classmates, so he shot at him and went to jail for a year or juvie or whatever. That's crazy. He's still 16. Now, why I mention this is Bro, because been in the field. when you're on the police <laughs> Bro, been in the field. list, it's hard to get off. He gets out on probation, okay. which basically means a judge can send you back to jail if you do something that they don't like. He goes back to jail. Why up you Melly said, why? The judge said, you rapping now, huh? He said, yo. The judge said, well, I don't like your songs. And this is where things take a turn. See, okay, talk to me, talk to me. was making music and he was popping off. Right, frankly, he was, for honest, sure. He was on top of the world. Does have a gift for music. His first few songs. What's y'all favorite, what's y'all favorite Melly song? I don't know the, I don't know the song. I don't know the song name, but it go like. Eh, eh, what are we, eh, 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 what are we eh. like is that it got that type of cadence but that's that's like one of my favorite melly songs i don't know the name of it and then another one is um uh, it's called take care it's it's a feature with offset i think i don't know but yeah them the two melly songs i know and i, I fuck with like it's just hard in charts but this was a bad thing because again he caught the attention of his judge his judge said you talk about in your songs I'm sending you back. Which brings back the whole debate of should rap lyrics be used in the I court don't think law? rap lyrics should be used in the court of law. And I'm going to tell you why, bro. Because I feel like with rapping and like things of that nature, bro, society and everybody done glorify killing and murders and all type of things like that. So I feel like for people to make music and make things that people want to listen to, they have to make fake stories and or use somebody else's story and put it in their own way into their raps etc so i feel like using lyrics in the court of law should not be valid that's my opinion bro because it's like my nigga this what y'all this what y'all eat off of you know what i'm saying and these uh record label executive offices what's the color of their skin white and they are feeding and leeching off of the niggas that's rapping about murdering and killing and doing all these drugs, etc. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it shouldn't be used in the court of law. That's my thing. Refuse to use rap lyrics or music in general in the court of law because it can be discriminatory. Well, Free it thug, is discriminatory. Man. Free because thug, of the neighborhoods rap music tends to come from, certain things will be rapped about. Exactly. And those things, well, usually are illegal. And courts usually exactly. use the lyrics. Free take care, man. This no cap. Is Free bad. take care, bro. So send them to jail. So same thing Damn, happens to man. Line Free take care. And if you're keeping track, this is the second time he's in jail. But this time, he has a big buzz behind him. So everyone's saying, free him. You're locking him up because of rap lyrics. The court's like, damn. So they let him go. And then they arrest him again for having on him. And like I told you before, when you're on the police's list, it's Bro. hard to get off. But they let him go again. I was about to say. He has good lawyers. He has a record label. Imagine going to, where, to going to jail for, jail. for we, money. And for it's years point, and years and years, gets years out bro. For the third time, it's time to be a star. Until the fourth time he gets arrested. God damn, nigga. A little more serious. See, he finishes recording a song with Kanye West called Mixed Personalities. The song becomes huge. It's oh, I know that song too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's Kanye not fine. He's flying. People listening to his original songs, they saying, damn, them boys snapping. YNW Melly like, yo. The police go, yo, you think you can rap about whatever you want now? You think you bad? 
Why end up be Melly said like Michael Jackson? Why end up be Melly's lawyer sliding and go hee hee? Now turn around, you ain't never arresting him again unless he makes a colossal mistake. He makes a colossal mistake. Damn, Melly, fuck! While YNW Melly is rising, I'm just gonna call him Melly from now on. While Melly is rising, he's also rising with three other people in his YNW crew. All his best friends. There's Sack Chaser, there's Juvie, and there's Bortland. And they make music too. But one day, Bortland pulls up to the hospital and says, Oh my gosh, they just two of my friends. Okay. Sack Chaser and Juvie. Ah. Uh. Melly's not there. The police show up and go, Wait a second, ain't this the YNW crew? Where Melly at? Bortland goes, I don't know. The police are like, that's a little suspicious, but tell us what happened. So according to Bortland, they were driving around and suddenly some dudes start at them. Since Sack Chaser and Juvie were on the right side of the car, I need you to listen closely. They were the ones that were Melly and Bortland were on the left side of the car. Now uh -huh. at this point is the obvious question. Okay, so where is Melly? The police had the same question. So they call up Sack Chaser and Juvie's roommate. They say, yo, where's Melly? Do you know? The roommate goes, no, actually, I don't. The police go, okay, well, we found out that you were there. The roommate goes, oh, yeah. But he still says he doesn't know where Melly was because Melly got in a separate car from his friends. The police say, okay, bet. They get surveillance footage of the last time all the YNW members were together and alive and they all walk into the same car melly walks in as well in those positions remember sack chaser juvie on the right melly and bortland on the left the right, police right, right. look at the roommate and they go well he was in the same car the roommate goes starting today anyone can monitor it's that getting good it's getting good all new beehive oh yeah so at this point the police we're like, okay, people are lying, something's going on. And this is how police investigations usually go. The more evidence you start finding, the more liberties you're granted by the state. Let me explain. They couldn't just walk over to Melly and say, you're suspicious, we're gonna arrest you, especially since he has pretty good lawyers. So they need to get the courts on their side. They right, say, right, right. in the car with them, everybody's lying about it. Now, let's track their phone. So they track Melly's phone at the time his friends got. And remember I told you Melly's friend, Bortland, said they drove around, they got at, and they went to the hospital. Well, he missed a couple steps. See, they drove around past the hospital and went into the woods. Well, it wasn't the woods, but it was like a deserted area. Remember, they're tracking Melly's phone. He's Damn. with the rest of the YNW members. The phone tracking then shows them drive back from the secluded area, dropping Melly off, and then driving to the hospital. It's kind of looking like he did it, right? Well, here's the thing about court cases. You always need more. So they went to the area they claimed they got at. Everybody's like, I didn't hear nothing. They got a canine to look around for shell casings. The canine's like, I ain't seen nothing. So they drive to the secluded area. They said, canine, you see some? He said, oh, I see some. The oh, shit. Shell casing. Okay. And they matched what? Melly's friends. Let's take it a step further. They then do science stuff and figure out the came from inside the car. And trust me when Damn. I say when it comes to ballistics, that evidence is pretty solid. They also said a drive-by did not happen. They even went as So, first. so, all right, so if it's like bullet holes coming on like the side of the car, hold on, let me go back. So look, if it's bullet holes out of the side of the car, obviously this is the passenger side, right? If Melly was sitting on the driver's passenger side and he shot this way, how do how did that happen like how's the bullets this way but i'm not a forensic scientist i don't know you know what i'm saying i'm going based off of when i got shot at it was a bullet hole it was bullet holes in my car and it looked like this but like my nigga i don't know let's it's watch let's keep solid. watching i don't they know also said a drive-by did not happen. They even went as far as to track the fatal wounds, and they both came from the left side of the oh, car. Oh, shit. Remember, they said a drive-by happened from the right side. Oh, well, shit. Being said, how 
could he possibly get away with this? Well, wait, I'm gonna tell you. Remember when I told you they were his best friends? Well, he was so close to them that he had their names tattooed on his face while they were alive. They've known each other since kindergarten. So people were like, Damn. but why'd he do it? And this is called motive. A motive Real is day very ones, important when it comes to court cases. You gotta know why somebody would do something or at a certain point, it's just, we can make anything up, right? The police were like, well, have you heard his lyrics? People were like, we need a reason why he might have done it. The police were like, that's a good question. So they bring Melly in. They say, Mr. Demon, he said it's pronounced Demon. His last name is Demon. It's D-E-M-O-N-S. Do with that information what you will. They said, why'd you do it? He said, do what? They said, you know what? He said, I don't. They said, damn. They went to his friend. They said, why'd you do it? He said, do what? They said, you know what? He said, I don't. They said, Damn! But the police on the decided same page. to hold him there because they found no on him. A month later, they were able to put all the evidence together and they said, okay, we're charging you for your friends. Now, this seems a little weird, right? Keeping someone in jail for a minor charge while you try to gather evidence for a larger charge. Well, this happens all the time in the court system where police toe the line of what's legal and not legal. When they go too far in illegal and they get caught, there's usually a mistrial, meaning the person's free to go. This toes the line a little bit. Let's see if they toe the line further. The court said to the police, well, did you find out why he might have done it? The police said, mm-mm. The court said, okay, did you find that he used? The police said, uh uh. The courts go. It ain't no he evidence that he physically said, killed them. So it's the like, said, what about all the other stuff? Free Melly, bruh. Yeah. Because you see, while all the evidence they found <coughs> really points to Melly being guilty, people need to hear why and they need to see the weapon. Those are like two bread and butter yeah, that, things that's like court. So big, the police ask for more time artifacts. to toe the line. They start roughing up Melly in jail, treating him really poorly. So hopefully he'll crack. He's silent. They say Melly was gonna escape, so we need to lock him Damn. up for more years. His lawyers are like, that doesn't make sense. We know you guys have nothing. We're waiting for a trial. And at this point, it's been years. They're keeping him in solitary confinement, all that. His lawyer's like, okay, you guys need to let him go. The police said, no, we're still looking. So a judge slides in and says, okay, it's gone too far. It's been years. All right, you got to do a trial. And you know that feeling when you walk into school and you know you didn't do your homework? That must have been how the prosecutors felt. They presented all that evidence I told you in the beginning of the video. The jury's like, oh, Smelly did it. Melly's lawyer walks up and says, why? The prosecutors were like, because he's bad. Let, let me show you some of his songs. Everyone's like, ooh. Melly's lawyer was like, well, jury, do you have any doubts? Is there reasonable doubt? The jury is like, I mean, a little bit. And how the court systems go is if you're going to send someone to jail for the rest of their life, you have to be sure. On top of that, the police were proven to be so shady during the case that it was not a good look for them. At one mm. point, the lead detective <coughs> asked one of his colleagues to lie for him while the assistant state attorney was there because they feel like they're on the same team. We're all trying to get him in jail. Let's just say. The lead detective asked his colleague to lie because he illegally- Bro, imagine going so hard that you got no evidence that this nigga pulled a tri trigger, but you going so hard, you asking the other officers or whoever you ask to lie for you, bro. To send somebody away to jail for the rest of their lives. And I don't know if he did it or not, but let's say he didn't do it at all. Let's say he didn't do nothing. Imagine going to jail for the rest of your life and you did not do it. That's why they got to be 100% sure you did it, bro. And I feel like... Yeah, this shit crazy, bro. Really took <laughs> Melly's mom's phone and blah, 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 blah. The assistant state attorney shows up to trial and says he lied. The lead detective was like, now, wait a second. You snitching, girl? She said, yes. Oh, I shit. We was on the same side. She said, I quit because I don't work with liars. And remember when I told you about that line? Well, now they started really tipping over. So the jury is like, ooh, no. It's obvious police don't have anything and they're willing to break the law. So how far have they gone? Have they lied to me about all the other evidence? The jury doesn't know. So they deliberate. Eight people say, I think he did it. Four people say, I don't think he did. Damn. This resulted in- Eight a people said, that nigga did it. <laughs> that nigga did it. Eight people, bro. Imagine, bro, if it was only eight people in the jury, bro, your, your future is up to random strangers, bro. And it's like, bro, is he say versus she say it's whatever evidence they could bring up versus whatever you can defend. 
You get what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, that shit's scary, bro. Eight people and four. And so it's 12 people on the jury in total. So four people out of 12 believe that he did not do it and want that nigga to go home. Eight people say that nigga's cooked. That's scary, game. bro. They couldn't figure out if he did it. That's right. scary, bro. The judge says, "All right, mistrial." Melly's team goes, "Yeah." The prosecutor goes, "What you cheering for? It's not over." Melly's team goes, "Let it go." The prosecutors go, "No, redo." So they ask for appeal, basically saying, "Let's do the trial over again." They want to bring in a bunch of evidence, showing a song, showing a documentary about him, where he says, "I love." But in that documentary, he's also with all his best friends and they all look really close. The judge was like to the prosecutor, you guys sound really confused. The prosecutors were like, no, if you look at the end of the video, it says Melly was in the car. And if he was in the car, that means he might've done it. The judge was like, you can't use any of that. So the prosecutors were like, yes, we can. We appeal that too. Melly's lawyer was like, no, we appeal your appeal. So the trial turns into a mess. If you didn't understand anything I said there, don't worry about it. Just know it's chaos, but that works for the prosecutors, the people that want to keep Melly in jail. Because while they figured this chaos out, Melly sits in a jail cell. So Melly's lawyers That's like, facts. it's been five years. You need to let him go. Or at yeah. least start another trial right now. The courts say, eh, we're thinking about it. It takes them six months to think about it. And then they decide, we're gonna do another trial for next year. Now, at this point, it's insanely unethical. No matter if you think he did it or not, the court systems rely on innocent until proven, proven guilty. guilty. So, so technically, you know what I'm saying? He's an innocent man that has been in jail for six years. That's, That's what crazy, bro. Say, but the judge says, uh, eh. now prosecutors know That's full well up, that bro. the next trial is going to go the same as the first one. They still don't have any evidence, so they're going to lose. So it seems they just decided to squeeze out as many years as possible while putting Melly under very harsh conditions to kind of get their lick back. If there's something that you need to learn is that the courts do not like to lose. They will find any way to deliver punishment when they know they're going to lose. It's the same thing that's happening to Young Thug now. Well, not the exact same, but similar. I have a video about it somewhere and well that's it ynw melly will be released but only when the courts feel like it late time's over bro imagine only being released when the courts feel like it bro like imagine you sitting in jail for years and years five six years my nigga and you know you getting out of jail but the courts just gonna prolong the situation i feel so bad for that nigga bro like that's fucked up i ain't gonna lie like that's tough, but if y'all think Melly did it, bleh, if y'all think Melly did it, let me know down below in the comments right now. Like, did y'all do y'all think he did it or he didn't do it, or he just an innocent man that's that's being imprisoned for no reason? Y'all let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all my next reaction. No cap. Five, six, seven, eight. Answer.